Omar left Kurdistan and paid a smuggler $15,000, 12,000 euros to get him to Britain. He was there for 20 months, suffered a stroke, failed to gain asylum and ended up paying a smuggler 500 euros to get him out of Britain, back to this squadly camp in France. So apparently, this asylum seeker paid $15,000, which was then equivalent to 12,000 euros to get himself to Britain in search of better life. At the end of the day, he fell sick. He even had stroke, according to the news. And at the end of the day, he had to pay another 500 euro to get himself back to France in a camp. That is to show you that even the camp in France, he thinks he will have better choices than being in England because of the Rwanda plan at the moment. And it equally means that with his state of health, he does not want to be taken back to Rwanda. Yes, because he will not get the required medical attention that he requires. So what does this tell you? It tells you that a whole lot is still yet to come out of this Rwanda plan. That is for, of a truth. Yes, because some Afghans are protesting. Why do you have to take Afghans back to Rwanda? Then another question is, what about the Vietnamese that are disguising our stories and they are using the English channel to cross over to Britain? Are you equally going to deport them to Rwanda? So how do you expect these people to adapt when you take them back to Rwanda? So if after everything that happens to this Omar, this man that come from Kurdistan, and even with his health situations, he cannot be granted asylum or humanitarian grant. This is enough reason for some people to really think it through. Because sometimes the problem we have as human beings is, Bab me the head, you Bab Albert. But we forget that the shape of the head, our head with that of Albert is not the same. What works for Mr. A might not work for Mr. B. Yes, there are still people, some people that went with this Omar, paid this $15,000 then equivalent to 12,000 euros. Some succeeded. Why some failed? Yes, that is just the truth. Why am I saying all this? I'm saying it because this is high time. Because in as much as this border, these countries are setting high standards, they are increasing the crackdowns, they are equally controlling their border in ways and manners they have not done before. It means that the risks of crossing these borders will be high. Secondly, it means that the smugglers will be hiring the price more than 10 times before now. So it is high time people should really think it through. Is it worth it to pay this amount of money to smugglers? When at the end of the day, you might not even succeed in crossing these borders. That's one. Two, at the end of the day, some might even regret that they paid that amount and at the end of the day, they were deported. They were unfortunate. And at the end of the day, some might even be unlucky and be deported back to Rwanda, of which they will not find it funny in Rwanda trying to find how to gather the money to return back to their country of origin. Yes. So, people should think thoroughly this time around. I think at this point in time, this is not, is not a good time for anybody to migrate to any of this country at the moment illegally. Yes, because the chances of you being granted asylum or you being able to stay there legally is not even up to 10%. So it's left for each person that is in third world country or anywhere to keep their ears to the news. Listen to what is happening to other people. That money you're going to give smugglers, reinvest it into your business. Focus. You can succeed in your own country if you are meant to succeed in your own country. It's not everybody that will succeed in this Europe. Some people are here after many years. They still went to their country of origin and still made it there. While some are in their country of origin, they will stay there and come here and still make it. So it all depends.